And the Dayton Metro Library is celebrating Earth Day downtown by revealing two new pieces of art. Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith shows us how creating art out of recycled material is what's working in Dayton. Here at the Dayton Metro Library, this specific piece of art actually started it as a tire on the side of US 35. I drive sometime and just uh, pick up things that other people throw away. Willis Bean Davis taught African art for about 30 years and was inspired by the masks. So then I began to embellish it with industrial electronic surplus material. The mold in the center, created from the clay of the earth, may look familiar. I use my face as that warrior who is concerned about uh, preserving culture and preserving and recycling material. The Chamu mummy mask found at the Dayton Art Institute was the inspiration. They would use that as a springboard to create their own original work. Upstairs, you can find more than 100 different objects gathered by Michelle Stitzlein to create the stream at Huffman Prairie. It becomes a scavenger hunt <laughs> and sometimes a little historical scavenger hunt because um, younger people or children don't actually realize what some of these items are. All of these materials are staying out of the stream by hanging on this wall. It's important to be thinking about the environment in general and how we use materials. To be able to recycle and to reuse something, to me, is, is, is adding to the salvation of the earth. I'm meteorologist Carly Smith, 2 News, working for you.